hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content it's so good to come your way today to share with you some very vital information that will help advance your career as usual now if you ask me to categorize all the things that you need to advance in your field in your chosen career I'll put them under these three umbrellas inclusion influence and impact now what do these mean I have done a lot of videos as far as inclusion is concerned that's just how to get you through the door so preparing for interviews how to just position yourself to land the right opportunity now what is influence you've landed the opportunity you you are in the door now how do you influence your space and get a seat or a say at the table because you're not going to remain you know where you started from for a very long time even though many people just coast and settle i don't think that that's that's how you want your career journey to be you want to advance so that's where influence coming now if you study your environment if you've been in your working space for a while you realize that it's not always the case that the most hard working people get recognized so beyond actually doing the work expected of you there are so many other things that gets you advancement in your career that gets you a seat at the table where decisions are made now impact is stepping out outside your you know regular working environment and impacting your world your industry your space something that's bigger than just where you are working in today's video i'm going to share with you something that seems very simple but that's a huge headache for people and it's one of the things that if you can master and do effectively would help with your ability to influence wherever you are and that is how to handle yourself in meetings now i don't know if you've been in that place where you know let's say maybe back in school in your lecture room your lecturer asks a question and there's just that one guy who seems to always you know have the answers and it's not as though you don't know what to say you know you have the answers you know but how to actually get up and voice your opinion is a headache so you sit there i mean you pass through school for four years three years and no one even registered that you were around and unfortunately we never really do anything about this we carry it right on into the workplace and you get into the work environment you know your stuff you have creative brilliant ideas you come into a meeting and then you you are just so tense you are unable to voice out your opinions and be heard so that's what today's video is about i'm going to share with you some tips to help you manage yourself in a meeting or calming those meeting anxieties let's dive right in now there's this popular quote that says that give me six hours to chop down a tree and i'll spend the first four hours sharpening my axe and the rationale behind that is really simple because the sharper your axe the less time it will take you to chop down your tree but if your axe is blunt you spend forever your six hours is over and you couldn't really cut down that tree what am i saying i'm saying that to help you manage those anxieties before going into the meeting especially when you are at an advantage to know that there will be a meeting ahead of time always make sure you prepare for your meeting what is the meeting about what will i need you know to be effective in the meeting what will i need to be able to contribute never enter into a meeting not knowing what to expect or what is expected of you as a participant of that meeting so the first thing you need to do before going into any meeting is make sure that you are prepared armed with information you know information makes you powerful when you sit there and conversations are just flying off the top of your head and you have no clue what they are talking about what they are discussing you just become weak 
inside dreading when attention will be drawn to you so that you would have to contribute so you sit in the whole meeting and it's like you just have this fog ahead of you you don't see anything so the meeting is over you don't want that to happen so i'm saying what prepare before going into your next meeting try it it really does help you know when you go into a meeting armed with questions you know what the topic is and you prepare some very intelligent questions to ask and you haven't really contributed all you did was to ask a question and all attention every focus is now on you wow that was a brilliant question and then the whole meeting skews towards that question you ask you know you, you, your, your confidence is boosted the second tip I want to share with you is that practice your statements again in a situation where you know what this meeting is about or you are even expected to present something little in the, the meeting room make sure that you have your facts together if they are questions if they are um, points for discussion you pen them down and practice them practice 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 in fact get other people that you can you know practice asking your questions you know to and also doing your brief presentations and all that if you don't have anybody just take a mirror stand in front of the mirror practice your questions and anything that you think you want to say in the meeting and look at yourself watch yourself do i like how i'm sounding do i like my body language my posture and things like that then you correct them over and over again till you are comfortable and proud of what you see then you can proceed into that meeting the next tip is to reach out to the participants of the meeting sometimes anxiety is born when you don't know what to expect so if you know um, what persons are coming into the meeting you can try to find some information about their background and all that so you are armed with knowledge about who they are what they are likely to say you know and things like that it helps you to calm yourself down and be open to questions and a fruitful discussion what i have done in the past supposing i'm going to meet a people or a group of people i'm going to have to train or have a certain conversation i actually go on linkedin read everything that i can find about them so you play their cards in the meeting. It makes the meeting really, really easy. Because they sit and they are wondering, oh, how can this person knows almost everything about me? You've done your homework, so already you have an upper hand. It helps to manage that anxiety. So reach out to your participants, try to know them ahead of your meeting. Now, this next tip is really interesting, but it really helps. It does the trick that is to speak up early so you go into a meeting there are so many people you know that part of your responsibility in this meeting is to do a presentation instead of sitting down and going through the pain of having to endure everyone else go through their presentation so that yours is the last one and then you you you've just been drained now to avoid this you can offer to go first if that's possible so you do your presentation first then you can relax or you do your speaking whatever contribution you have as soon as the floor is open just push that thought question or whatever contribution you have to so that you can take time and relax knowing that no pressure is going to hit you again you relax and you listen to what others have to say so you can make meaningful contributions. So what am I saying? Speak up early when you have the opportunity to. The next step is to engage with the material. What, what do I mean by that? So you are in this meeting, someone is presenting or speaking or, and you are not listening to anything the person is saying. You are watching intently though, but your mind is somewhere else, not necessarily where you are. Now you finish and the floor is open for discussions and you realize that you don't even know what just happened in the last hour. So there's no way you'll be able to contribute. So engage with the content. Whatever is being said, make sure you are paying attention, not just 
for listening sake you are listening so you can contribute or you are listening so you can ask questions now my next tip is managing your avoidance techniques if you are someone who doesn't like attending meetings you know this monday meetings with all the pressure and all of that you develop a coping mechanism called avoidance techniques and this can range from avoiding eye contact right up to not speaking in the meeting at all now if in the meeting maybe you are the main presenter or you'll be presenting at a point and all that one of the ways to help you manage this is by arriving early when you arrive early you meet people in a more relaxed and informal setting and you strike conversations with these people because they are the main ones who are going to be in the meeting with all the attention fixed on you that's where the nerves come in but when you've had conversations with them already it's like you're just continuing what you began so you are a bit more relaxed than coming really late and then well, everyone is already there and then you have to go up and begin to present or speak or whatever it is you, you're expected to do in that meeting now also before you go in hey sometimes these are people that you work with on a, a daily basis but just because now we are in a room you know where we have to speak on particular issues here and there you become so nervous you are unable to function so always do this visualization tell yourself that these are people i talk with on a daily basis or on a regular basis and i don't rehearse a script in order to be able to have conversations with these people you need to be able to trust yourself to strike spontaneous conversations in settings like that my next step is for you to use a lot of visuals in your presentation if you are the one presenting in a particular meeting or you are speaking where you, you will be using slides don't load your slides with text because people are bored with slides that have a lot of text in them so they will shift their attention from what you are projecting and every eye will be fixed on you and sometimes that can give you some pressure people are naturally hooked when they can see images that catch their attention so use some of those catchy images so that while they are looking at the image they are listening to what you are saying and so every attention or every eye in that room is not drawn to you the one standing in front of them that can also help you to manage the nerve and the anxiety you feel when you have to speak up in a meeting now a bonus tip if you are having a meeting via zoom skype or any other of these platforms make sure that you have prepared ahead of time you know recently someone shared with me how that they had to do a presentation via skype and you know they are really used to the content and can go on and on however in this particular meeting it took them a lot of energy to be able to concentrate to do this and why was this the person said they were all over the place in terms of my mic is off this is not working and all that to avoid all of this make sure that you have set up and you've tested all the systems make sure everything is working because that clumsiness trying to check your microphone check your camera and all of that it happens that when it's actually time for you to put your content out there you're a bit um, disorganized in your mind and this can affect your confidence so make sure that you have tested everything ahead of your meeting now my final tip always review your performance this one no one is judging you're taking responsibility for your improvement your continuous improvement so make sure that after every meeting even though someone will come and check up on you make sure that you check things like how was my confidence how did i speak were there things i wanted to say i was afraid to say or were there things that i said that i could have phrased properly to make me look more confident to make me a stronger communicator so you check all these things and make sure that on a daily basis on a weekly basis or constantly you are making improvements to make you more relaxed and more effective during meetings so there you have it quick tips to help you manage your meeting anxieties i hope this was helpful i want you to share your comments with me also if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe like this video and also share with others. Thank you so much and see you in my next video.